today is a new day. Lord is actually singing right now at a concert that we are at right now here in Florida, as you know. Um, but this will be our last concert in this state. And we're gonna leave from here and we're gonna head somewhere exciting tomorrow. Hopefully we can get there on time. I will tell you about it soon though. Later. Oh, that sounded weird. And today's a new day. Laura wants to go to church. She wants to go to a particular church. We are going to the Sherwood Baptist Church. Now, if you don't know about that church and why we actually got up at 6.30 in the morning to drive three hours to get there on time, let me explain it to you. My voice cracked. Let me explain it to you. Here, I go on a tangent and I cannot stand the noise that's in the car, the kind of thing. So I'm just telling you about the Sherwood Baptist Church. The Baptist Church actually is most famous for putting out these movies like Courageous, War Room, Fireproof, Facing the Giants, and Flywheel. That church did it all themselves and they have really grown in the past years. A lot of people have seen those movies. I've seen mostly all of those movies and Laura thought it was a cool idea to go and see the church since we were driving through. That's all I was trying to say. Okay, this is us. Back. And it's not morning time where I'm at. Arrived at Sherwood Baptist Church. So we have made it to the church. Guest parking. Everywhere we go we're guests though. That's kind of nice. The first commandment so that the second commandment becomes a natural law for us. So let me ask you a question. When's the last time you spent time alone with God? When's the last time you spent time alone with God? When's the last time you sat down and looked at His Word and studied His Word? As you can see, we made it to the church, and uh, yeah, I'm in a different attire because we already attended church and we were thinking about leaving. There's not a whole lot to do here, I know. I, I don't know. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot to do here. So we just went and we saw, and we didn't see any people that are like. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. Okay, who did you see? Only the one that makes the movies. We saw both Kendrick brothers. Both of them. And we almost got a picture, but not quite. We were gonna get a picture, but he was on his way leaving, and we don't want to be those like weird people that are just like, "Come, take a picture with us, Mr. Famous Can we Person." Have a picture? Yeah, so we just kind of just let that. him go. We missed out on opportunities. Yeah, we're famous enough, I mean. They didn't know who we were. Yeah, they didn't know who we were. But they will, because uh, Laura's trying to schedule a concert here for next year, because that's how far in advance you have to do it, but... No, six months. Six months, well, it's not... Well, we're not going to be back here for maybe a year. We don't We don't know, man. We don't know what the future holds. Anyways, this is what the church looks like from my car window. Isn't it so big? But um, now we don't know what we're going to do. We don't know the shoot to Tennessee. And then come back to Georgia because we're going to meet some people to do some recording. So, yeah. You got something to say? No. You want to say something to me? Go You go away. You go away. Apparently this is what Atlanta looks like. So either I did something awesome or incredibly risky. I'll tell you later. So I got my cameras in use, so I got one doing a time lapse, my cell phone doing a time lapse. But this GoPro is not in use, so I'm gonna try to use it. <laughs> you have a... You guys are freaking out? That is so cool. Where's our other camera? It's... it's away. So why... what is that bright light up there? It's the sun. Why is the sun out like why that? Why is there a star? Because it's dark enough to see stars. stars. <laughs> in the afternoon That's crazy. Oh it's getting dark. Oh, it's getting brighter now. I think no. it's over. The other side's coming out now. It's over. No! That's it. Oh, no. Boom. Oh, over. No! I like it like this. Wow, it's almost That was crazy. It was so dark out here. That was crazy. What do we do today, Laura? <laughs> We recorded all day, all day we recorded. But what did we finish? We finished one more song on the hymn CD and we finished the In the Garden CD. That's literally what we've done today. See you tomorrow. Today we're gonna do some recording and that's basically all we're gonna do because that's exactly what we did yesterday. It's very good to see you. Today we are at the South Bay Tennessee Seventh-day Adventist Church. Laura right now is actually giving a concert. I stepped out just to take this update because we haven't done much of anything else. We have spent so much time, so much time recording. Because we spent three days in isolation just recording all day, day and night. 
and we got a lot done. As of this recording right now, we only have one song that just needs background vocal. And as soon as that's done, all the songs are ready for mixing. And I could get this album out within the next two weeks. I'm excited and I'm just ready to get this album done. And I'm trying to, I'm doing this so I can hold myself responsible. So now you guys have to hold me responsible. If I fail two weeks to put out this album, someone's gotta yell at me. You just gotta yell at me. I don't know what else what else to do. It is just wonderful out here. The weather, I know I've been complaining about the weather because the humidity, the rain, the whatever, but out here today it is fantastic. We have a whole month here dedicated to Tennessee and we have four separate concerts. Next week is going to be ridiculous. We're going to we have so much to do next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I can't even I can't even fathom that right now. But I just wanted to do a quick update with you guys, to let you know what we're doing, why it's taking so long to put up the next video. I have a lot of things in mind to show you. Um, don't look at that. That's don't worry about that. And I will catch you up with the next adventure that we will be doing. I'm not sure where or what, but I will see you there. I promise, because I have to pull up my camera so you can see what I'm doing. It's very, very complicated. Do not worry yourself about it. I'll figure it out. Laura has bad news. Yeah, okay. So, you saw our vlogs. We were just in Houston. We were just there, like, two weeks ago, maybe. And now look at it. Houston estimates a thousand people rescued overnight. A flash flood emergency is in effect for Houston. Catastrophic flooding has begun over the southeastern part of Texas and Houston is seeing the worst of it right now. Here's a look at some of the scary images that we've been getting overnight. This is an event that is far from being over. We still have a ways to go. We're talking into next week. We had rainfall totals coming down overnight four to six inches per hour and this is just the beginning so we are talking days of rain this is all from harvey those are the feeder bands that you're seeing so two things in play today strong winds and very heavy rain we were just there we could have been in that we could have went kayaking in the we streets were just there. no but seriously that's that's a big deal like the whole city of houston is underwater right now whoa oh and i haven't showed you um but this is our little recording booth that we set up here. Apparently this is like some type of sauna thing and I just stacked it up on each other and we put you in a closet. Take these beds here and uh, we just like put them parallel and close them in. Anyways, it's working for us. But outside of that, I'm gonna have to end the video here. It's been a pleasure meeting you, seeing you. I'm, what am I, I'm just, I'm making stuff up now. I can't see you, you see me. You know how this thing works, it's it's the internet. No, but really, the, the traveling from Florida to Tennessee has been fascinating. The scenery up here is a lot different than home, and it's just really nice. Hopefully, I can get some more shots of that. But I have a lot of exciting things I want to show you in the next video. If you remember, I told you in this clip. So either I did something awesome or incredibly risky. I'll tell you later. And this clip, not to look over my shoulder. Um, don't look at that. That's Don't worry about that. I'm going to have to save that for the next video, only because 
I have to wait for something to come in. That you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to wait, but I'm sure you could probably figure it out. But it's a lot of great upgrades for this YouTube channel, for us in general. It's gonna be fantastic. Outside of that, there was a lady there at Laura's concert. I don't know if you saw her, but she was doing sign language to a couple that was deaf. And it was uh, quite fascinating to see something like that. I know it was a music concert. You don't really necessarily assume that someone that's deaf is going to go to a concert. But they came anyways and they listened to the whole story that Laura um, has in her concert and all the music, all the words of the music. We had a conversation with them at the end of the concert, which was pretty fascinating. It made me realize that there's no borders between the gospel. I mean, there is nothing that can separate you from the gospel. I mean, um, there's no language barrier either. I say language barrier, but you know what I mean. Because... There's tools that you can get for every individual across the planet. Uh, and it doesn't matter what nationality or what, what tongue you speak. And for me, I never really considered that or thought about it until it was face to face. To me, there's just no bounds to the love of God reaching his children. It was just fascinating to me. But if you love what I do here, Christian blogger, traveling, do music ministry, if you want to see more of that, stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, put thumbs up, do whatever you gotta do, you get the free will to do it, you're an American, or if you're not American, you're overseas, you, have, you still have rights, whatever. Do whatever you wanna do. But I will have to say goodbye and depart from you now, and until I see you again, if you have my contacts, my Facebook, my Instagram, links down below, whatever you gotta do, check up on me about finishing the albums. I need to finish these albums. Someone has to hold me accountable, cause, cause I get lazy, and I can't be lazy anymore. Pester me, do whatever you gotta do. Yeah, but I'll see you again, like this, again, soon. Alright, later, bye.